Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick review of 5 Get Beach Body Ready by Bruno Vincent, posing as uh, Enid Blyton. So this is one of the Enid Blyton Famous 5 for Grown Ups books. I do enjoy these. I'm going to read you the blurb, then I'm going to go through and check out my tabs. I don't have too many, so this will be a quick review. Then I'll share my overall thoughts and rating at the end. So, Dane reads... Trying on a bikini, Anne discovered that the mirrors in fitting rooms hated her. They showed amounts of herself she had never known were there. Join Julie and George, Dick, Anne and Timmy the dog as they prepare for a jolly jaunt to the Dorset coast. But will they survive the holidays without being body shamed? And is that the secret seven bronzed and preening in the distance? Probably, yes. All right, so, so I enjoyed this little conversation right at the beginning. It sounds like a fun game. I kind of want to play this with people. Hey, I've just thought of a game, said Julian. Places that sound like they should be in other places. George and Anne looked at him with all the animation of statues. I'll go first, Julian said. Tripoli. Should be in Italy. It's in Libya. Oh, I see, said Anne. Me next. She thought for a moment, then said victoriously, Lahore should be in France, she said. Is in Pakistan. Okay, said George. My turn. Dunkirk should be in Scotland. Is in France. And I enjoyed this little bit as well. This tells you a lot about George. Whenever talking about holidays, the group always had the same conversation, Dick realised as he listened. First, they talked about the one time they had all gone together to the south of Spain. The same several anecdotes worked through, starting with the time Julian had given a cab driver the wrong address, inadvertently saying an extremely rude word. Then they mentioned the time they'd been out in a nightclub and George had thought some moody guy was ogling her and tried to lamp him, only to find she'd punched a mirror. And then Dick is trying to book a holiday and he gets lost online and falls into a bit of a hole, as you do. So I thought this was relatable. He stared about him, saw it was 2pm. He was aghast. Where had three hours gone? He feared for a moment that he was suffering from some sort of aphasia or stroke, but then recalled he had spent an hour looking at the Daily Mail wall of shame, then another hour reading the tedious things his acquaintances were saying on Facebook. Then his mind had wondered. Open on the screen in front of him was the Wikipedia page for Ernest Borgnine. Kind of want to read Ernest Borgnine on Wikipedia now. Don't know who that is. So Julian mentions beach bodies and George says, Oh, stop saying that. It's a revolting and sinister phrase. It was devised by the patriarchy for the objectification of women and the reinforcement of long outdated heteronormative gender stereotypes. And Julian goes to get a pint of session IPA and sits down to read his book. Yeah, Julian did not just like the practice of drinking, he liked the culture and literature of it too. So it was with delight he had discovered the pre-war novels of Patrick Hamilton, dark comedies which took place almost exclusively in pubs and dealt with weak and fearful people ruining their lives or drinking to revolting excess. Julian bent the book back to crease the spine, a visibly lived in paperback being far more handsome in his opinion than a spanking new one, took a sip of beer, propped his legs, not his feet, up on the stool in front of him and let out a deep sigh of contentment. We get this little bit of conversation very topical. Life's not that bad, is it, said Julian between licks, when you think about it. Five million refugees homeless at this literal moment in time, said George. Yes, good point. Sorry, life's not bad if you're white and upper middle class and privileged and us, is it? Steady on, guys, said Dick. You're taking the shine off my holiday. So yeah, five get beach body ready. Obviously, it is very much aimed at adults. If you're an adult, and maybe if you read the famous five books as a kid, even if not, I mean, I think I only read one of them, and I really enjoy these adult ones just because they're again they're good for those little bits of social commentary. Um, so I gave five get beach body ready by Bruno Vincent a four out of five. So there we have it, that's what I made of 5 Get Beach Body Ready by Bruno Vincent. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read this book and if so, what you thought of it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.